Well, tonight, local authorities speak out about the death of George Floyd as we head into another protest in Billings this weekend. Mr. Floyd's death is truly a tragedy, but violence and destruction are never the answer and detract from his memory and the message at hand. That's a key takeaway from Billings Police Chief Rich St. John as he, the sheriff and the mayor set the tone going into Sunday's planned protest in downtown Billings. Now the chief says men and women in policing are angry, disgusted and embarrassed and condemn the acts of the Minneapolis officers. They also fully support all rallies as long as they remain peaceful. Q2's Casey Conlin is now standing by in the newsroom with more from today's press conference. Casey. Uh, Janelle, we heard Chief St. John open his remarks condemning the actions of the four Minneapolis officers who were involved in the death of George Floyd. He then took a strong stance in favor of Sunday's gathering, set for 1 p.m. on the lawn in front of the county courthouse, saying the Billings Police Department will be there to help leaders get their message across while ensuring everyone's safety. Simply stated, law enforcement in Billings and Yellowstone County are fully supportive of peaceful protests. To anyone coming, know that we are doing everything we can to make sure that everyone's voices are heard, nobody's rights are infringed upon, and that whoever is protesting, whether they agree with one another or not, stays safe. If you have any ill intentions or if you're coming just to rile things up, we ask that you please don't come. We don't want to take away from our forum and we don't want to get off track on what we're really here to do. And that's to bring awareness and education to everybody in our community. Now, these are scenes from last Saturday's impromptu protest downtown. Palmer opened her remarks today saying the group's main goal is to help the public understand racism exists in Billings and in Montana, not just in the black community, an opinion echoed by others in attendance. This, we like to call it a rally protest, is for all people of color. This is to bring awareness to racism against not only black people, but also uh, indigenous Americans as well. As a white male in a predominantly white city, in a predominantly white state, I almost never ask myself whether others will treat me differently and worse because of my race. But for many black Americans and other Americans of color, including Native Americans in Billings, that may be a daily occurrence. As of now, over 850 people are committed to the event on the group's Facebook page with another 1,800 interested. Chief St. John said the police have contingencies in place if the crowd needs additional space to expand into. Janelle. Now, Casey, we've seen several messages on Facebook and other social media mentioning groups coming into Billings to incite violence. Is there any truth to that? Uh, John addressed that today, saying the BPD has seen the same thing on social media channels. But as of now, there is no, quote, credible, verifiable evidence that any of that is going to take place. He expects the crowd to behave, but says they'll be ready for anything. All right, Q2's Casey Conlon, thank you.